lot of buzz going on, Mr. Spear, about No Destroyer. Give us a little bit of stuff about No Destroyer. I think No Destroyer is one of the most outstanding album I man ever put together. Of course, I put together some outstanding album, but this album, Destroyer, has everything within it. And what inspired I man to really record this album is things and people. There's a lot of distrifeful mind people and there's a lot of obsession minded people. You got people who thinking that your voice shouldn't be heard. And these are the things that inspired I man to record the album No Destroyer. When I take a look on a track like Mommy and see how and see how things sootyish and beasting up and people losing their jobs and people just can't get no job and it's a long line filling out application and waiting to get that call just for an honest job so these are the things what inspired Iman to put together the album No Destroy What about Mr. Spear, what about the song The Cure? Oh! The Cure? The Cure is a blessing Oh my God! There's nothing could stronger than the cure for the whole world. The whole world going through this agony, basing up on brain cancer and cancer other parts of the body. So the cure for cancer is very important today to the whole world. It's one of the biggest problems today is to find the cure for cancer. How did the loss of, of Kevin, Kevin affect you oh, to want to find the cure for cancer? That's where the song come from. That's where the song came from. The song came from Kevin losing, losing his fight against brain cancer. So that is what inspired I to come forward with the song Cure for Cancer. It's Kevin. It's Kevin who give her the lyrics. It's Kevin who give her the inspiration the vibes and the creativity based upon that song, The Cure for Cancer. Um, there's a negative vibes. And we, 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 we have to learn not to take it personal. We have to learn not to take the negative vibe personal because it's about the music and the people. And what do you have to say about people who, who post that Burning Spear fake and Burning Spear this and Burning Spear hypocrite and not a businessman. Tell us how do you feel? You know, cause those, you are a businessman, Mr. Spear. You've been are, doing this for a long time. Those are the people who don't know Burning Spear. They might just hearing about Burning Spear, but not knowing Burning Spear. Of course, Burning Spear is a businessman. I've been doing, doing business since 1969. And when people step forward and say things like that, it's plain to see these are the people who know nothing about Burning Spear. And if they, the inspiration and the vibes and the spirituality from all these people from all over the world, that's what keeps Burning Spear going. Without the people, as I said before, I don't know what would happen to Burning Spear. Why the people care about Burning Spear? The people love Burning Spear. The people. Them to use a light to burn. I said the rules tell the people they could burn. One day somehow they will know the truth. Burn. The more past them, from times of family to burn. I'm a as bad as I could burn. They tried to cleanse, I'm a man from the middle. The judge has said, they're such a big fool. In the music industry, there's a lot of tricks. Some people know how to fix and place. They have the hit, the smallest program. They sign up bigger, the cookie wonder. The reputable companies committing fraud. And they think they are so smart. The artists they ain't copyright and trademark. They never give the artists a honor. If we don't work, them say we lazy. Yeah. And when we talk, them want to criminate me. Every man have a story. Yeah. This is a boat, I this is time and story. Yeah. They throw me under the rocks, but I believe in life. Yeah. I pay my price, now I'm a riser. Some people 
Oh boy, give me a knob. <laughs> no, that's that you. Hmm? My director. I no, but your director want to ask you a couple of questions. Um, 